If you just had surgery, you will receive medications to relieve pain. Opioids are powerful pain drugs. For example, plant-derived morphine or man-made fentanyl can reduce pain after surgery for a broken bone, and they can also manage cancer-related pain. And they do so by activating special proteins called opioid receptors on nerve cells in the brain, spinal cord, gut, and other parts of our body. When this happens, they block pain messages from the body through spinal cord to the brain. But opioids can also make people feel happy or high, relaxed, but they can be addictive as well. In 2016, the famous musician Prince died of a fentanyl overdose. In fact, millions of people around the world suffer from opioid addiction, and more than 100 people die every day from opioid-related overdoses. In my research, I am trying to tackle this opioid crisis by using peptides to develop new pain drugs without such side effects. Peptides are composed of the same building blocks as proteins, called amino acids, but they are just much smaller. One can think of them as mini-proteins. Importantly, compared to small molecules, such as morphine or fentanyl, peptides are much more specific in what they target. As a result, they are far less likely to have side effects. Perhaps one of the greatest gifts of Bosnia and Herzegovina is the marvelous diversity of plant species. If you decide to head to beautiful mountains of Bosnia and Herzegovina like Pelašnica or Jahorina, you will find a lot of violet plants. Such violet plants produce a unique class of cyclic peptides called cyclotides. Cyclic structure of these fascinating mini proteins makes them exceptionally stable so they can survive various enzymes in our body. It is amazing that a single violet plant can produce more than 100 cyclotides. In my PhD project, I isolate cyclotides from violet plants and other plant families and test their activity on opioid receptors. Active cyclotides are then subjected to chemical modifications to improve their pharmacological properties and finally, their pain-relieving efficacy is to be tested. The opioid crisis has become a serious public health issue, with an increase in opioid-related overdoses from day to day. A famous French painter, Claude Monet, once said, The richness I achieve comes from nature, the source of my inspiration. Many of the things that people have achieved in our history were inspired by nature and its richness. And the cyclotide drug to combat the opioid crisis could just be in your backyard.